about all the animals and plants in the sea. But before we get started, repeat after me. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. One, two, three, four. Hey oh, hey oh, we're aqua tots. 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 everyone and welcome to Aquatots at the Florida Aquarium. My name is Miss Ashley and today with the help of my friends we are so excited to explore the animal world. Today we're going to explore just how artistic and artsy animals can be. Did you know that animals can sometimes help us make art? How cool is that? But to start, I don't know about you, but I love to get my wiggles out before I sit down for a little bit. So go ahead and stand up, spread out, and get ready to see Mr. Tom and Rocky to help us get our sillies out. Hi there, friends. It's Tom back for here with my good friend, Rocky the Penguin. Everybody say, hey, Rocky. And it's time for freeze dance. The rules are simple. When you hear music, you dance. When you don't hear music, you stop. Then when you hear the music, you start up again. Rocky, do you have it? You got it? You good to go? Let's go, guys. Just do what Rocky does. Here we go. Oh, and it's so good to put the joke and fly. They can slide super deep. When they want to walk around up on the ground and they want to win their game with me. Oh, we're going to waddle like a penguin. Like a penguin. Like a penguin. Waddle, 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 like a penguin. Oh, waddle, 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 like a penguin. That was really good. Remember, when you hear the music, stop. You freeze. All penguins don't live with Santa Claus. They don't need that snow and ice. In fact, our penguins are from Africa, and we think they're pretty. fun. Can you guys wave bye to Mr. Tom and Rocky and say thank you for helping us today? Thanks Mr. Tom and Rocky. I'm ready to take a seat and learn about colors and animals. Can you boys and girls take a seat for me? Wow that's some great sitting. Now today we said we're gonna learn about colors. Do you have a favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Now, what about your favorite animal? What color is your favorite animal? My favorite animal actually changes colors. So there's all different colors. Miss Lauren is gonna help us discover just how many colors there are and where other places we might find some cool colors could be. Let's see what Miss Lauren is up to today. Hi everyone, welcome back to Aquatots. My name is Lauren and I am an instructor here at the Florida Aquarium. Today we are going to be reading the book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? So let's get started. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. 
What can you all think about that is red? Maybe something that you can find around your house. Take a look around. Maybe an apple or something like that. Try finding something that's red. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Now try to find something around you that is yellow. If you take a look outside, maybe the sun is yellow or a big block of cheese could be yellow. Try to find something yellow. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. What else can we think about that is blue? Outside, there's lots of things that are blue, like the sky is blue, my shirt is blue, and water is blue for sure. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. What outside might be green? Hmm, maybe the grass outside or the trees could be green? See if you can find something that's green. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Purple's kind of tricky. See if you can find something purple outside. Maybe a flower might be purple. Maybe even something you're wearing is purple. Try to find something purple in your house. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. That's like you guys, right? Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. The end. Thanks, Ms. Lauren, for that fantastic story and learning about all those different colors. Do you boys and girls like to make art with a lot of colors? Have you ever mixed colors before? You have, and what happens when you mix colors? Have you made a new color? I think our friend Andy is actually gonna help us see just how we can mix some colors today. But she's gonna do it a little differently. Miss Andy is gonna use the help of our friend Spruce to paint and make some new colors. Let's head on over to Miss Andy and see what she and her friend Spruce are up to today. Hi guys, welcome. Good morning, Aqua Tots. My name is Andy and I'm an instructor here at the Florida Aquarium. Joining me is Spruce and we are gonna be learning all about colors today for our artistic animal class. Now before Spruce helps us learn about colors, we're gonna talk a little bit about the kind of animal she is and what makes her so special. So you might have seen Spruce somewhere around Florida. Can anybody tell me what she is? Yes, she's an alligator. So she is our American alligator. Typically, they're gonna hang out in areas like ponds or lakes, nice fresh water. Now, you might notice that she's a lot smaller than some of the alligators you might see in the wild, or even some of the ones upstairs in our wetlands. She is only about two years old, so she's still a young alligator, which also gives her these really cool stripes. So you might notice, especially on her tail, she has these yellow stripes, and along with that dark blackish grayish uh, color to her. And these are gonna help her camouflage in the wild. 
So if she's in the wild and she needs to hide from other predators, she can use these stripes to blend in with things like tall grass, that kind of stuff that you might find around those ponds. Now, she has some really cool markings, but what you don't see is green. A lot of people think that alligators are bright green, but that is just in the cartoons. In fact, they're mostly that dull, darker gray color, and when she gets nice and big, she uses these loses these yellow stripes and she will be all dark gray or black or brownish color. So she's really going to blend into that dark murky water. Now when we learn a little bit more about colors, she's going to help us make a green so you'll see how different it looks compared to her skin. Other things you guys might notice about Spruce here is that she has some really pretty eyes that kind of look like cat eyes and they sit on top of her head. Now the reason they sit really high is so she can just peek her eyes out of the water where the rest of her is still underneath the water. And that's gonna help her try to find prey and hide from other predators. Wouldn't it be silly if we had eyes on top of our heads? Yes, it would be really silly. She also has these really cool webbed feet in her, on her back feet. And these webbed feet are gonna help her from sinking in the mud. Oh, she has a little bit of wiggles. There we go, so Spruce got her wiggles out, just like when we need to get our wiggles out. That's why we make sure we play freeze dance during this class, so in case we need to get our wiggles out, we have the chance to run and play and get those out and listen to music. All right, Spruce, are you about ready to play with some colors? I want to show you guys some really cool colors that we're about to look at, but before we do, we're going to get her all set up with paint. So the paint we're about to use with Spruce is animal safe, so we make sure it's not going to hurt her. And we chose some really fun colors today. We chose blue and yellow. All right, so Spruce here has what color? on her feet. Yellow, that's right. And you might see her tail kind of moving back and forth now. What colors on her tail? Blue, yes. So blue and yellow are what we call primary colors. When we mix them together, we get a secondary color. Do you know what color that is? Let's find out. We're gonna let Spruce walk around and make some art of her own. So you can already see she has a nice yellow footprint right there, a big blue tail print over here. And as the colors blue and yellow start to mix, you'll notice they make a new color. You can see it a little right here. Does anyone know what color that is? Green, very good. So is she green? No, alligators are not green. As you guys can see, she made some pretty fantastic artwork. She also got me a little bit too, but it's okay. Uh, so she has some really nice, you can see some feet prints on this one. And this one has a really nice tail swipe. Now what I really love about her artwork, um, especially on both of these, you can see that the yellow and the blue, when they start mixing, that's when they get this green color. So you can see there's blue at the bottom, a yellow footprint, and when they mix, they have a green footprint. 
And then same with this one. So we have a blue tail swipe, a yellow foot, and then when they mix, we have a nice green tail swipe down here. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I'm gonna get Spruce and myself cleaned up and we look forward to seeing you next time. Wow, who knew the alligators could show us just how secondary colors are made. Do you wanna help me remember primary and secondary colors that Miss Andy went over? This is one of Spruce's paintings that's dried now. I see that you guys used some blue and some yellow, and together you made green. Now, was our alligator friend green? No, Miss Andy mentioned that. Our alligator friend was more of a brown. And here's another one of our alligator paintings. You can see the blue really well that Spruce had on her tail, and then the yellow was on her feet. And again, those made green. Now our primary colors, we used two of them here. Do you remember the third primary color? If blue and yellow are two of them, the other one is red. Red is our other primary color. How fun is that? Have you used those primary colors before? What one's your favorite? These paintings that Spruce made are really fun. Would you guys like to make some colors? Miss Lauren's back and ready to help us make beautiful new colors with the help of some shaving cream and food coloring. Let's head back over to Miss Lauren and see what she's up to today. All right, hi everyone. Welcome back to Aqua Tots. Did you enjoy watching the alligators paint before? That was really cool. Today, what we're going to get to do is mix colors just like the alligators did, which is gonna be really fun. So for this first activity, some things you're going to need are shaving cream, a Ziploc bag, and some food coloring. You can use two colors and mix them together to create a brand new color. I'll show you how to do it, okay? So first, we put some shaving cream in this plastic bag right here. Just fill it up about halfway, okay? Then you're gonna open your bag and choose the two food coloring colors that you want to work with, all right? I'm going to work with blue and red because that is going to make purple, all right? It's gonna look really cool. So just be careful when you're using food coloring. You might ha end up staining your fingers like I did a little bit. It's not gonna hurt you, but if you don't want that stain on your fingers for a couple days, make sure you wear gloves, okay? So first, you're gonna take your first food coloring color and put a couple drops into your bag, okay? Maybe do 10 drops, all right? Good. And then the second color, you'll put it on the second half of the bag, okay? Do 10 drops of that one too. Perfect. And then you're going to squeeze some of the air out of the bag and then close it. So the only thing left in your bag is shaving cream and your food colors, all right? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the red that we put in and a little bit of the blue. And then you can roll it on the table, you can squeeze it with your hands and those colors are going to start to mix together. So after a couple minutes of doing that, your bag is going to turn this color. It's like a pretty pink purple. That's what happens when you use red and blue, but you can use any two colors that you want, okay? And there's another way that we can mix colors also. So if you want to try another way, all you're going to need is a tray, shaving cream again, then a popsicle stick, and two other food colors that you want to use. This time, we're going to use blue and yellow, and we'll figure out what color that makes, okay? So same thing, we're going to add our food coloring to our shaving cream. We'll do a couple drops on one side of the shaving cream, okay? And then we'll do a couple drops on the other side of the shaving cream, just like that. And now you can either use your popsicle stick and you're going to mix them around just like that, or you can wear gloves and use your hands to mix it around, or you can just use your bare hands if you want. 
And as you start to mix it all over your tray, what color are we going to end up with? It ends up being like a green color. It looks a little bit like slime. That's really cool. So this is a really easy activity, really fun way to mix colors. And you can do this for hours. I could do this for hours. All right, thank you guys so much. Enjoy. Who knew that mixing shaving cream and food colors could be so much fun? Did you like it better with the tray or in the plastic bag? The plastic bag makes a little less of a mess, but I like the tray one because it's nice and cold to touch. Now, you guys have been doing a great job sitting. I think it's time to get back with our friends, Mr. Tom and Rocky, and have another round of freeze dance. And just maybe there might be a new song to play with this time. So let's see just what Mr. Tom has in store for us. All right, guys, it is freeze dance time. So everybody out. We love Penguin. So short and fabulous. We love Penguin. You can ridiculous. Their little penguin flippers provide them with plenty of power. It's true. These amazing flights of birds really rock my socks. I think we all agree that penguins rock. Come on, let's go crazy. We love penguins. Mr. Tom and Rocky for helping us out again. Did you know dance is another form of art? So today we've seen art with Miss Andy and Spruce. They painted. Lauren helped us with storytelling and reading. She also helped us with color mixing. But can you think of other forms of art? Maybe you like to color or sing or make stuff out of clay. Can you share with us one of your pieces of art today? Wow, everyone's art looks so great. I'm really glad you were able to join us today. Before we go, let's make sure we wave goodbye to all of our friends. So everyone up and let's say goodbye to all of our friends and see you next week when we explore mythical creatures. Hey-oh, hey-oh, we're Aqua Tots. Hey-oh, hey-oh.